What's up party people? My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video I'll be showing you all how to turn your WordPress website into a multilingual WordPress website. This way your visitors can view your website in multiple languages. So let me first go ahead and show you what this plugin can do for your website. When visitors visit your website, they can simply select their language and the entire website will automatically translate to their native language. This plugin offers many amazing features like creating additional URLs for each language. Users in other countries will be able to find your website by typing in their native language characters on the Google search and your website will be available. You can set the default language of your websites. For example, if you are from a Spanish speaking country and you want your visitors to view your website in Spanish, you can select the default language of your website automatically. Plus, you'll have a very nice custom dashboard that shows you which countries are visiting your URLs, discover text, and the top performing pages of your website. What's even better is that this plugin will automatically translate the WooCommerce emails sent to your customers. This way, if people do buy products from your store, they will see the purchase receipts in their native language. This plugin is a free plugin and offers more than 100 languages to choose from, and today I'll walk you through how to set this up step by step. Now, I personally use this plugin on my WordPress website and it's been working wonders. It works really well. So let me go ahead and just show you guys the dashboard and the interface and get you more comfortable with the plugin. So here is my WordPress website. And as you guys can see at the top, we have these uh, languages. Now I can select the language to come by default if users visit my website, but I'm selecting it as English because I'm obviously an English speaker. Uh, but I'll go ahead and select uh, Spanish right here. And then the entire website will automatically be translated into Spanish, including all of my blog posts, all of my products, everything. It's a really helpful plugin. What's also really cool is that if I take this text here and I search for it on Google. Now keep in mind, uh, I am typing in Spanish in the Google search results. However, people can still find my website because we are creating my website on different URLs, allowing it to be indexed by Google and being found in a different languages. So that's a really cool feature. I really do like that. And I'm getting a lot more traffic uh, by adding in this feature on my website. Now also for languages that are writing right to left, this plugin will accommodate RTL, which is right to left. For example, I'll go over here and I will select the Arabic language. So the Arabic languages does write from right to left and you'll see here that um, th the actual plugin will accommodate it and it does fit right to left as well. So uh, I believe Hebrew and Arabic, I'm not sure, I don't know all of the languages, but uh, it does accommodate RTL. So uh, that's pretty helpful. So let me go ahead and walk you guys through on how to set this up on your WordPress website. So we're gonna take this website and then we're going to add the translation features to this uh, website. So I'll go ahead and log into my WordPress dashboard. All right, so once you log into your WordPress website, we'll go down over here to plugins and we'll click on add new. And then we'll type in G translate. So this is the plugin that we're going to be using G translates G translate. And this is the plugin right here it has more than 300 active 300,000 active installs with 2,600 positive reviews. So it's a very well trusted plugin. So I'll go ahead and install it and then I'll click on activate. All right. Once that's done, you'll see that we have the plugin here. Uh, we click on the settings tab, but you can also go over here to settings. And this is also where the plugin is listed. So it's under the settings tab. So I'll click on G translate and here we go. So these are the general options for the plugin. And here you can see that we can translate it from English. We can translate it from other various language if you choose to do that. Now these are the pro plans. So this will actually create a subdirectory URL or a subdomain URL. I'll show you this later in the video, but this is great because what this will do is that this will help you get more traffic from other various languages in other countries. So uh, it does index your website. It does change all of the content in other native languages just so you get more traffic. It's a win-win. Next we have the auto switch to browser language. Now this is a great feature because Google and other browsers know which languages users are speaking or typing because they are typing in in the search engine. So for example, if you have a user from South America that comes and visits your website, the plugin will automatically change the website from English to Spanish for those users. And this applies to all countries. So uh, if people are typing in the Arabic characters in the Arabic regions, the website will automatically be translated into the Arabic characters for those users. So it's a great feature to add. I'll go ahead and select it. Here we have show in menu, right? Well, I'll first turn this off actually, because I, I want to show you the actual manual way of doing it. Uh, here we have show in menu, and then we have the show floating language selector. So you can actually choose to display the actual uh, language selector on the top left of the menu, on the top right, or the bottom left, or whatever it is you want to do. 
but I'll select top left and just give you an example. So on my website here, you'll see that the language selector is at the top left. So uh, you can choose the position of the language selector. Now you can also select the languages to be shown in their native language. So for example, if I select this, you'll see that a lot of these characters have changed for those users in those languages. That's an option if you want to add it, but uh, I'm just going to leave that unchecked. But, uh, you know, I think maybe checking that would make more sense, but uh, that's up to you. You can also adjust the flag size, the flag name. And what's also really cool is you can add as many languages as you want for your WordPress website. So here you'll see that the plugin has pre-selected some languages. So we have Arabic, German, Italian, Chinese, English, Portuguese, Russian, so on and so forth. And uh, once that's done, we'll click on save changes. Now, if you do get errors on your website, you can select this, I am having issues, and the plugin will debug the issues and it should work just fine. On my website, I did have to select this. I got some error. Let's actually test this out to see if I get any errors. No errors, everything works good. But uh, if you do get errors, you can just go ahead and select this and everything should work just fine. So now that I selected all of the languages and I selected the options that I wanted, let's go ahead and take a look at our website to see if it is available. All right, so here we go. We got English, right? Uh, we also have Arabic, Chinese, Dutch, French, and German. Let's go ahead and select German here. There we go. The entire website has been translated into German. Very cool. Also at the top right here, we can see that uh, it also translated part of the actual website into German, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and change this back to French. All right, we got French, but let's change this to, uh, let's, let's do uh, Chinese. There we go, we got Chinese, there we go. So now we can see that this is really working here. So uh, it's changed the words that it could to the translate to the Chinese characters. So here we go, we have all this in Chinese, and it's done a very good job. Now, a lot of these obviously are images, so it can't translate those, but you can see how it's translating a majority of the text. Now, this is all in the free version, so it's pretty incredible that you can add all these in the free version. However, there is a limitation, right? So you can't add as many as you want in the free version. I believe you can add up to five or something like that, but see here, I did select Korean. It didn't display all of them because there is a limit on how many languages you can add in the free version. But now that I've showed you guys about the free version, let's quickly go ahead and talk about the pro version and how it can really help you with your website. So first let's upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pay plans only and I'm going to uh, run a free trial here. So I'm gonna select the business one here and just click on try now. Now this is a 15 day free trial. You do not have to uh, pay if you don't want to, but I think it's good to have because you can actually get some information to see if users are actually using the plugin and if it's working. So on my dashboard here, you'll see that I have a lot of Discover text. I have a lot of users from South America that are watching my videos, or I'm sorry, uh, visiting my websites, but they're, you know, they're from my videos, right? But also we have a lot of French users, Arabic users, and Portuguese users as well that are coming to my website and are using uh, the plugin. So remember, they are finding my website from the subdomain, right? So uh, that was all done by the plugin. So it's not done by me. The plugin has done it, and I'm getting a lot of traffic from it. So it's, it's great. So let's go ahead and go ahead and sign up and create a free trial. All right, so I selected my domain and I put all my information, and I'll click on continue. Now we'll go ahead and have to sign up. Now you will need a credit card or your PayPal accounts, but they will not charge you and you can cancel before they actually bill you. So just go ahead and uh, add in your card or your PayPal if you wanna go ahead and go that route. And once you're done, we'll click on uh, proceed to checkout. All right, cool. So once you guys go ahead and sign up, it'll say go to your user dashboard. So let's click on user dashboard. All right, cool. So once you guys actually sign up with the service, it'll then prompt you to go ahead and check your email that you used to sign up with. It will send in your login credentials. So it'll send your username and your password to that specific email. All right, cool. Now, once you guys go ahead and go through the process of signing up, it'll bring you to your dashboard. And the first thing that you'll wanna do is go to your setup wizard. So right here, let's click on setup wizard and I'm gonna select WordPress. So first they're gonna ask what platform you're gonna be using. I'll select WordPress. Here is the URL structure. So they're gonna ask you, do you want to offer the other various languages as a subdomain or a subdirectory? I like the subdirectory better because this looks a lot cleaner and I think users will have less um, less errors typing that in because people are used to typing in the website first and then, you know, dash, whatever. So I'll go ahead and select next. 
So next we have language selector. And what this is gonna do is that this is going to create different URLs for those languages. Now, first thing that you'll need to do is make sure that the subdirectory URL is selected on your website. So let's go back over here. We have the subdirectory URL. I'll click on this one, right? And they do also have other options for these as well, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the bottom here and click on save changes, all right? So there we go. So now that we've done that, we'll go back to uh, G Translate and we'll say, okay, we did select the subdirectory URL. So I'll go ahead and click on next. All right, cool. So now you'll see that the plugin is creating different URLs for those languages. And it's also discovering all the content on our website and it's going to start translating everything so it can be indexed by Google. Now it's going to translate whatever languages here that you have selected. So we have Arabic, Chinese, Dutch, uh, Italian. So whatever languages that you want to have other various URLs, you'll just go ahead and select them here. But uh, let's go ahead and check back on our little uh, browser here. And it looks like everything is good. So let's go ahead and click on finish. You have configured GT translate successful, successfully. All right, let's click on okay. Now there are some other settings that you guys might want to go through. Like for example, I'll click on settings here. So here are some other general options you guys can select from. Like for example, you can have automatic translation. This just helps the process of um, translating your website from users from other regions. Also here we have translate from. So you can translate the original language of your website if you wanna do that. And then also you can get even more technical and translate the URLs of your website. I think that is helpful because if users are seeing the URLs, uh, this part up here in their native language, I just think they'll appreciate that more, right? I don't know, it's, it's just really preference if you wanna go ahead and go that route. Uh, here we have skip translations, find and replace, and other advanced settings that you guys can go through. And then of course, they do have a lot of other options here, like the analytics. They have the finding text, which is how users are finding the text, uh, find URLs, and just some other general options here that you guys can check out on your own free time. But uh, a majority of the work is done. So let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard here. And first let's go ahead and go back to our website and see what has happened. So we added that in. Let's go ahead and visit the websites. And now let's go ahead and select a different language. So I'll go ahead and select uh, French. All right, so now you'll see the website has been translated into French and it's also created a new subdirectory for that specific language. Uh, let's go ahead and select one more just to see if it's working for all the languages. Let's go ahead and select German here. All right, cool. So now you'll see the website has been translated into German and it's also created a new uh, subdirectory for that language. And just give it time, you know, over time, this will uh, help your website get more exposure. You can see we already have some more discovered text. And as time goes on, your website will be found more often from other various languages. So everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do wanna test this plugin out for yourself, just go to my website, check it out, right? So uh, I selected Spanish here. I'll go to view layouts. You guys can also see that my URLs at the top have been translated and it works really well with page builders. So you guys can see everything is translated into the native language. Now, of course, there are some words that cannot be translated, obviously like Elementor and a Divi, but uh, I'll just click on Elementor here. Just check out some products, right? And uh, it works with themes, it works with page builders, and uh, it's been working really well for me. So you'll see that everything here has been translated, including all of my products, just making it a really convenient process uh, for people who want to discover my website in other languages. So make sure to give this video a big like. I did really spend a lot of time researching plugins, and I think this plugin is the best translation plugin for WordPress out there. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.